Martin here for the YouTube channel and I'm with Ian, Al Ian Allenson, the St Albans manager. Good game today for you, right? Yeah, I mean, the result is, is, is really important in the end, but as I say, it was a, it was a tough, tough game, especially the last 15, 20 minutes. And even at 3-1, I've never felt quite comfortable and they got back to 3-2 and they could have quite easily got something out of it in the last five minutes there. So they've put you under tremendous pressure uh, and you can see why they've been on the run they've been on. And uh, they're, they're decent. It was a good game today. And, it took a lot for us to come out of there with three points. Absolutely. After, after a very tight, even first half, what was the, the mood in the dressing room at half time? What, 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 what did you say to the guys? To well, I was a little bit disappointed because obviously they've scored the goal from, from, from our corner and we didn't really defend it. Uh, and he obviously ended up in our final third and we needed to just double up a little bit more than what we did. But I thought the um, reaction to going one down was really good, especially after losing to Bath and going out of this tournament. So that, the confidence was a little bit fragile, but I felt we responded really well. Um, and got back to obviously one or four off time. It's important we got that goal just before then, but I felt second half of sort of 2025 was playing really well and it ended up going 3 1 up. Um, but as you say, you've never felt confident of, of, of seeing the game out um, because of the way you know they, they played the ball into good areas, they worked extremely hard, they, they got some really good players, and, and as I say, they caused us a lot of problems in that, in that last sort of 10 15 minutes. I was disappointed we didn't keep the ball better in the last 10, 15 minutes. I felt we just started to um, just to panic a little bit. Um, so we just got to go and work on that. But you know, more than happy to get the three points, and it was, you know, it was a nice way to bounce back after the uh, after the last sort of couple of games. Ago. And another tough game on Tuesday night coming up. Welling doing well in the league. Well, I think every game in this league is a tough game. You know, whether you're playing Welling or you're playing. Uh, the team that's at the bottom of the league, you never get an easy game in this, as, we, as we've seen over the years we've been in it. But you know, we have to, you know, we respect Welling for what they are. You know, they are a good side. They've got some really good players. Steve King's done a great job there. So, you know, we'll take it on board, uh, and hopefully, we can come away with a result. Absolutely. And today's result obviously puts you into the top six. Um, what's the long-term plans for this season and, and the club moving forward? I think you know the long-term plans for the club is is is, is the new ground in terms of, of where we want to be. Um, how quick that will happen, but you know, we have to just take one game at a time in, in this level. You know, it's great to be in the top six at this stage of the season, but you know, we know how long the, how long the season is 42 games is, is a long, hard season. Um, you know, we're, we're carrying a few injuries at the moment, which is, which is not helping. We picked one or two up again today, so the squad of 17 is really tested, and uh, they're the areas we have to look at. Um, but. As we say, it's a long, hard season. Um, I'm comfortable in terms of where we are at the moment, considering we've lost five games already. Um, but you know, we're scoring goals. Um, we still managed to, to score three again today. But the one area we need to need to seriously work on is, is the goals being conceded. We've conceded too many goals. Yeah, and how, and how do you think you do that? You know, is there a tactical change? Is there a personnel change? I think, I think we've got to look at everything. I think you look at both. You look at tactically and you look personnel because um, but it, you know the right person has to become available because. You know, we can't keep conceding goals the amount of goals we're conceding. We lost Richard Show Silver to a long term injury, which is a blow because you know we did keep a couple of clean sheets when he came in the side. But the other boys have defended unbelievably. I mean that was a tough game to go and defend. They had to stick, stick big heads in and clear their lines and, and fight for every ball. I mean they were they were literally given no no uh, quarter in terms of, of the uh, performance and, and the pace the game was played at and they had to defend very, very well. Uh, but again we've considered two goals there all areas today. What do you think the new guy can bring to your Yeah, squad? it was difficult because um, obviously we, we, were, we, were, we, were, we were okay with the shape, it was good and I didn't want to change it too early, but no, but uh, Jason can bring us that little bit of quality we need and obviously if we can get him on the ball, then he, he can go and hurt teams for us. And we need that um, you know, in certain games, at certain times, we need people on the ball that will keep the ball and as I say, we didn't keep the ball well enough in that last 10-15 minutes and could have thrown it all away. And of course, on a cold day like today, the most important question, are you a bubble man or a compliment? I'll be coffee tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy it. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Cheers.